some numbers up. I had to get my numbers up. Now I What's going on guys? Time for another video and today we will be covering the punch that changed the NBA forever. So in today's NBA, when a fight breaks out, it gets broken up pretty quickly and nothing serious ever happens, really. But in the 70s, that wasn't the case. Tons of players were using drugs, uh, getting into serious fights that escalated in the punch that changed the NBA forever. So let's jump right into it. 1970 NBA season, uh, fighting was a huge role in the NBA and Sports Illustrated covered um, not the NBA's top players, but its top enforcers. The enforcers stood for the players who would do anything to back up their teammate. The NBA needed to change the fighting aspect, seeing that the season before there was an official 41 fights that happened in the NBA. The punishment in that season was a $10,000 fine and up to uh, any game length suspension. The two players involved in the fight were Rudy Tomjanovich and Kermit Washington. Kermit was one of the league's enforcers and Rudy was an all-star. So then on December 9th, 1977, a fight broke out between the Los Angeles Lakers and the Houston Rockets. He was running to the scene, and Kermit was already at the scene. Uh, Kermit saw Rudy, uh, saw him as a threat, so he punched him square in the face. And the punch was brutal. Uh, the doctor described the damage. There was uh, spinal fluid dripping down the back of his throat, and then he was rushed to the hospital. He was rushed to the hospital where doctors tried to save his life. The doctor working on the operation described it as putting an eggshell back with glue. Uh, Rudy survived, but his career was jeopardized forever. Saturday Night Live did a skit about the punch, making it seem like Kermit Washington was a villain and his career would never be the same either, and the media uh, saw him as a villain. That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. The deadliest punch in the NBA proved to be a deadly one. <laughs> never mind, that's not funny. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for me, and I will see you guys next time.